Hey, this is Brian Rogers from the BBK R&D and Technical Support Departments to show you how quick and easy it is to install extra horsepower, torque, and throttle response on your 1994 or 95 Mustang GT or Cobra with one of our throttle bodies and a cold air induction system. Both of these components are CARB certified and that makes them street legal in all 50 states. To get started, unplug the mass air meter and inlet air temperature sensor harness from the master plug on the fender apron. Flip the latches on the air box, loosen the hose clamp at the throttle body, and disconnect the PCV hose from the oil filler neck. Then lift the stock inlet air tube out of the car and set it aside. To remove the throttle body, disconnect the helper spring and the throttle and cruise control cables from the linkage. Unplug the idle air control and throttle position sensors, then remove the four nuts that hold the throttle body to the intake manifold and pull it away. Completely remove the stock gasket and any remnants to ensure a good sealing surface for the new BBK throttle body. On a workbench, remove the idle air controller and throttle position sensor. Place the supplied TPS spacer over the end of the throttle shaft and bolt the TPS onto the BBK throttle body. Be sure to line up the teeth inside the TPS with the throttle shaft when installing it. Then, using the supplied gasket, bolt the idle air controller onto the BBK throttle body. Back at the car, slip the supplied gasket and the BBK throttle body over the studs on the intake manifold and tighten it down. Then reconnect the IAC, the TPS, the throttle and cruise control cables, and of course the helper spring. Before wrapping up the throttle body install, have a helper step on the gas pedal to verify that you can achieve full throttle. Back on the cold air induction system, remove the bolt that holds the base in place and pull it and the snorkel out of the fender well. Prepare the fender well plate with the supplied o-ring and studs. Then work the inlet elbow into the o-ring. This is the most difficult part of the installation due to the tight fit of the tube inside the o-ring. The next step is to remove the mass air meter from the air box base by unclipping the sections of the base and unbolting the meter once you have the base separated. Remove the screen from the meter and bolt the meter directly to the BBK inlet tube using the supplied hardware. Please note that there is no gasket required between the meter and the tube. Now you can drop this assembly into place in the car and tighten it down with the original fender bolt and grommet. You'll need to pull the inlet air temperature sensor out of the stock intake hose and place it into the BBK tube using the supplied grommet. Slip a blue coupler and two clamps over the ends of the inlet tube, then work the inlet tube into place. Tighten the clamps and reconnect the PCV hose. Now extract the wiring harness from the stock airbox base and connect it to the mass air meter, IAT sensor, then to the master plug. To finish the installation, you'll need to lay on the ground and place the filter up in front of the fender liner, behind the headlight, onto the end of the inlet tube where it's protruding into the fender well. We lifted the car and backlit it here to show you where it goes. Now we can run the car on the dyno and see how much power we've picked up with these super easy and affordable bolt-ons. Well that was an easy way to bolt on 24 extra horsepower and 20 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels on our totally stock automatic transmission 5 liter Mustang. 